I see Jesus everywhere. Jesus, hear me now. I see his glory everywhere. Everywhere. His power is everywhere. Oh, because Jesus is here. He is here. He is here. Shalom family, thank you. Happy New Week. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for being a part of this session. We're just having a morning devotion and the network was crazy. So I promised that I was going to preach, to re-preach the devotion and, of, and premiere it so that we get the word without interruption. So sorry about that. We have been talking about faith and today I was tearing up someone. God said today I should share with, tell someone, don't stop saying it the question is what shouldn't i stop saying and i mean scriptures coming from romans romans chapter 10 verse 17 it says consequently faith comes from hearing and hearing of the word of god your faith cometh by hearing and hearing of the word of god and i was telling us that your faith is determined by what you hear i say two things you need to ask yourself one who do i listen to whoever has your ear has your faith whoever has your ear has your faith some of us had we believed in ourselves and we believe that the promises of god in our lives can come to pass until we listen to someone tell us that was not possible some of us believed in what God was doing in our lives until someone else told us he was doing nothing. You believe that you can successfully accomplish that thing, that you can become that person until someone told you you are not good enough. What? Who are you listening to? Whoever has your ear has your faith. And the second thing I said was, who what are you saying to yourself i learned i realized that i listen to myself when i speak i can hear what i'm saying and faith comes by hearing so what you tell yourself is very important it's as important as what you hear others say so your faith coming by hearing includes what you tell yourself what you tell yourself the Bible says the just shall live by faith and not by sight. And most often the temptation is that your sight, your reality becomes louder than the faith that you have. Such that you tend to complain about your situation. And you tend to talk about what you are going through. And you tend to talk more and you hear more. And, and whoever you complain about tends to tell you about what you are going through and remind you. But God says, let the weak say I am strong. And let the poor say I am rich. God did not say well, you should talk about what you're going through god said you should talk about what you want to see don't talk about what you're going through tell talk about what you want to see preach to yourself I, I i do that a lot i preach to myself every time before i get to preach to you i have first preached to myself because you know this life that we live your faith doesn't prevent life it doesn't stop life it carries you through life your faith doesn't stop life your faith carries you through life your faith it doesn't stop evil occurrences it carries you through them it gives you the assurance that you are going to come out on the other side of the tunnel that's why god says the bible tells us in the book of hebrew he says he has said so that we can boldly say what has god told you what did he say about that situation what does his word tell you about what you are going through he said it so you can boldly say he said it so you can boldly say the lord is my help Helper, I will I shall not want. He said it so you can boldly say, By his stripes I was healed. I walk in divine health. He said
said it so you can boldly say, he took with him to the cross all my diseases and my illnesses. He said it so you can boldly say, I am blessed in my going out and in my coming in. Whatsoever I touch is blessed. He said it so you can boldly say, Kalayana manasuka barasiana. Everything I do shall prosper. I am the hand, uh, I am God's divine vessel. I am a special people, a chosen generation. Ah, uh, he said it so you can truly say, so you can boldly say, so you can boldly say, I am the apple of his eyes. He has ins he has inscribed his my name in the palm of his hand. He cannot forget me. He said it so you can boldly say, this fire, uh, though I walk through the fire, it will not consume me because God is with me. Even when I walk through the water, it will not drown me because God is with me. The Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 1, God saw the situation. God, the Bible says that the earth was void, dark and void, and what was, was void, and, and, and darkness was upon the surface of the earth. And God looked at it. God did not like it, and God said, looked into the darkness and said, let there be light. God didn't talk about the darkness. He didn't talk about how bad the situation was. He didn't talk about how bad. He didn't cry foul. He didn't go gaga saying, oh my God, oh sorry, I'm God. It's so dark. How do I do? How do I even see around? Darkness is not my thing. Why? What happened? Did the devil just attack me? Oh, what happened? Where did this darkness come from? What do I do now? How do I go about it? He didn't call a state of emergency and say, Peter, uh, 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 and say, NJ Michael, NJ Gabriel, all of you come right here. NJ Raphael, come right here. NJ, NJ Uriel, come right here. We are in trouble right now. Heaven is in a state of emergency. We are doomed. We are dying. No, he looks into the darkness and say, let there be light. Look into that situation and command the good that you want to see. The Bible says he calls for things that be not as though they already existed and then they come to be. It doesn't start with the things that are already existing. He calls for what he wants to see out of the circumstances that don't look like it. Hidden in that darkness is light. Hidden in that failure is success. Hidden in that ill health is divine health. Hidden in that lack and want is provision. God has the ability to become that which you need. He has the ability to answer your prayers. The question is, what is your faith telling you? Who have you been listening to? And what have you been saying to yourself? He has said it so that you can boldly say. So when during your free time today, go back to the scriptures. Find out what God says about that situation. When God came to Joshua, he says, This book of the law shall not depart from thy mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you shall have good success. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Meaning you keep saying it. When you read it, you keep saying it. When you see it, you keep saying it. What God says about that situation is what you should keep saying. Say it and preach it to yourself until you believe it. As you step out today, don't talk about what you're going through. Talk about what the word of God says about this day. God says this is the day that he has made for you to rejoice and be glad. So no bad news is permitted to come your way today. God says the lines are falling onto you in pleasant places. You have a godly heritage. That is God's word for you today. God says... You are, you are blessed in your going out and in your coming back. That is what you should tell yourself. God says you find favor with God and with man. That is what you should tell yourself. Oh, go through the day reminding yourself of what God has said. And make sure you separate yourself from people that tell you otherwise. I pray this word was worth enough to stir someone's heart and if you feel like this word blessed you and you want to drop an offering as you go out just check the description box 
for the cash app or paypal or just hit on that super thanks and the lord will bless you and as you confess the word of god it is coming alive in your life in the mighty name of jesus amen and now may the lord bless you and keep you may he cause his face to shine upon you and may he be gracious to you in the mighty name of jesus amen god bless you shalom